before I say anything, boycott Britain. Uh, boycott Britain until Tommy Robinson is free, but they kill him, until there's a, another Tommy Robinson who can speak his mind about Islam without being imprisoned. Anyway, what I'm about to present to you is going to seem like a joke. You say, ah, yeah, right, right, right. That's just uh, something written by Jews. If you're a Muslim, you'll think that. But this is from the Hadith. Sunnah Abu Dawud and another one that a uh, Sunni Muslim has to believe in or not be a Sunni Muslim. So here it is. This is Christian Prince. He's a native Arabic speaker who knows the Quran and Hadith. God is... Uh, uh, doctorate in Islamic law and I will play him for you right now and even he gave an order to a human being like us to walk in the water he was able to walk in the water what was Muhammad doing with the water we go to the books of Muslims all of it is authentic we have nothing to do with it this is Muslim translation I have nothing to do with the translation it was narrated from Abi Sa'id al-Khudari that his father said, I passed by the Prophet when he was performing wudu from the will of Bidah. I said, are you performing wudu from it when garbage is thrown into it? He said, water is not made impure by anything. The same story reported again and again. Be careful with me, please. Uh, the people are the messenger of Allah. S A W S. The amazing Allah Himself. I pray on Him. This is what S A W S mean. Can we perform evolution out of the will of Buddha, which will into which ministration minister of clothes? And dead dogs and stinking things were thrown in it. He replied, water is pure and is not defiled by anything. This is the teaching of Muhammad and this is who is Muhammad. You know, when, when, when we hear that a person who claims to be a prophet of God and he teach such a teaching and he jump in the water washing himself in water have dead dogs yet he teach the Muslims that dogs are dirty and if a dog he lick your dish you have to wash it seven times but yet Muhammad is washing in a little container of water is not even six cubit wide the height of it less than the, 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 the like uh, your private part and all of this women blood from period rags from women menstruation, stinky water, all kind of garbage is dumped there as we showed you in the previous hadith and as we see you, show you here right now and yet Muhammad he claimed that the water is always pure so while Jesus was walking in the water Muhammad was taking a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and a stinky garbage all of this in a little, little tiny container of water which is a sewage here you will see the Muslim measuring how big this thing is as you see in the front of your screen imagine in a size of a water we have only six, six, six cubits of water only six and we have the height of your private part and in that small tiny water which maybe is in the size of your living room we have dead dogs you see here this is the height of it it is the height of the private part so in this little tiny water we have it's like a jacuzzi uh, you know top we have dead dogs we have women of blood from period we have all kind of garbage and yet Muhammad he claimed that water is always pure. Now, I'm not going to talk much about the miracle Jesus did, because the miracle explains itself. But I'm going to explain how 
and what kind of a person Muhammad he was. Do you think a person who have little brain, he will do what Muhammad is doing? Do you think a man, he is normal and he is, his brain is functioning, he will do such a mad stuff? And you know, Muhammad now is taking shower with this water. After the shower, is he cleaner when the blood of women covering him or the blood of the dead dogs and the stinky water touch him? You know, when there's a dead dog or dead body in water, that water will be full of bacteria and will smell so bad. For a very simple reason, there's a dead animal there. How in the world, Muhammad, he become a prophet? Muhammad had no concept of bacteria. Uh, according to uh, Sahih Hadith, Muhammad said, were it not for the Bani Israel, Jews, uh, meat would not decay. In other words, meat would not spoil. Either Muhammad was calling bacteria Jews and vice versa, or he really didn't know what caused meat to, to uh, spoil. I'll continue with this thing here. This is a short video I wanted to share with you. Please share it with your friends. Feel free to download. Okay, that's it. But anyway, if you're a Muslim, guess what? You're to use Muhammad as an example to live by. What Muhammad did, you're supposed to do. And since we don't have trash, uh, uh, latrines, I guess you'd say, at least not in America. The closest thing we have to that is a sewer. So if you're a Muslim and you want to be like the exalted man, the one to whom you are supposed to emulate, you, as a Muslim, a, a faith-filled Muslim, you need to pull off the manhole cover, go inside and start doing ablution or washing in it like Muhammad did with the dead dogs and stuff like that or you're not a real good Muslim but 